Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I have done lots of videos on stoves over the years and stoves are a really big deal. There are also tons of options out there and ultimately a lot of times it comes down to what you can afford. We're going to look at four main types of stoves. Alcohol stoves, wood stoves, solid fuel stoves, and gas stoves. We're going to look at each one of those and I'm going to tell you guys what I think is the best budget option in each category. Stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna jump straight into it and talk about our budget gas stove. This is the BRS Ultralight Titanium Stove. I've done a video on all these, so I'll put links down below. Folds out, it's a little bit of a pain sometimes, you just have to get it in the right order. There you go. Attaches to your propane tank right down here, and it has pretty good stability. What's not to love about this stove? First and foremost, guys, it weighs 25 grams. You heard me right, 25 grams. It also costs 16 to $19, depending on where you find it on Amazon, but I bought it for, I think, $16. So the pros are definitely the weight. It's ultra compact. It does have a little carrying case, and it holds small pots. A lot of times when you're backpacking, you base your kit off of something really small. Just for an example, this is an alcohol stove, and you could actually almost boil water in this alcohol stove. That tells you how small a footprint you can use this for. As far as the cons go, it is very susceptible to wind and you really don't have the best control over flame. You have a little bit, but not a lot. I would not consider that a strong point. This one is labeled Lixata. It came in a BRS stove. They're all the same. This is the BRS Ultralight Titanium Gas Stove. Next, we're gonna look at solid fuel. Don't discount solid fuel. It's a very good form of fuel for the trail. It's stable. It doesn't really smell as long as you keep it inside of one of these plastic baggies and it lasts a long, long time. This is the UST or Ultimate Survival Technologies Folding Stove. You can buy this at Walmart very, very inexpensively. How inexpensively, you ask? How about six bucks? That comes with this stove. It also comes with eight solid fuel tablets. I've used this stove several times, and again, I have a video on it, link down below. It works very simply. It folds down like that, and as you saw, you can have your fuel right inside of it. You can open it up all the way like this if you have a bigger pot, or you can angle this in for smaller pots, and it really does a pretty good job. Again, we'll use our little bitty alcohol stove as an example, and it does fit on there just like that. Pros of this is that it's pretty compact. I also love it because it holds fuel right inside of it. It's kind of nice to be able to have one package just like that. Another major pro is the fact that it's got a wide variety of pot diameters that it can accommodate. As far as cons, it can be a little bit flimsy, all right? It's not the best thing in the world. It's very light gauge aluminum, so you really can't mess with it too much. And the other con is that you definitely need a windscreen when you're using solid fuel. Don't forget that because it vastly decreases its efficiency. Again, like I said though, guys, six bucks. This is the perfect solid fuel stove or perfect fuel stove for a bug out bag or whatever it might be from the standpoint of emergency preparedness or for disasters. Next, we're going to take a look at a wood stove. This is the wood stove by a company called Ohuhu. You can see it comes with a nice little case. Link down below to a full review. It has a top here with these little pot stand inserts. You can flip them this way to put a smaller pot on there, which is very nice. This is made out of stainless steel. Very easy to put together. You can see the double layer in here, which makes it a gasifier stove. You get your bottom, okay? Put this on top. This is an ash pan, which goes right in there, collects the ashes, and gives you a little bit of insulation from the ground, and then you just put your top on like this. This thing works extremely well. I've got, like I said, a full video on it. The pros are its compact design. It's very efficient because it's a gasifier stove. It does not require a lot of fuel to keep this thing going. Again, I'm not starting any of these today. I'm just talking to you guys about them. There are full, detailed reviews about each of these down below. Some of the cons, I do think that the pot holder here is a little bit flimsy at times. Um, you can put these in to hold a smaller pot, just like that, super small, so that is nice. And some of these cheaper gasifier stoves don't have that. Some of them now come with a grate that goes over the top. Mine did not come with that, so that's kind of a bummer. That's kind of my major other con, is that I didn't get that little grill top, which makes it more flexible. Guys, we're talking about a stove that cost about $15 on Amazon. It is pretty lightweight, made very robustly out of stainless steel, and this is a great budget option if you're looking for a wood stove to take with you. Again, just to show y'all, it absolutely folds down into nothing. There you go. That is a very compact package for a very versatile and very efficient wood stove. Again, 15 bucks. Last, we're gonna talk about an alcohol stove and nothing beats 
budget-wise, a DIY alcohol stove. This is one that I made out of a little Sprite bottle. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I have detailed reviews on how to make, at least that I can think of, three different alcohol stoves yourself for very inexpensively, like basically free. Just look around. Unfortunately, these days, you can drive around most forest roads, at least in Louisiana, and you can find plenty of beer bottles you can make these out of. Sad, but true. You can make this with just a few hand tools. Really, really simple. If you don't have a drill, you can even use push pins for all these. It is so easy and so efficient. Basically, a free alcohol stove, as long as you're willing to put a little bit of labor into it. The pros, it is simple. It is efficient. There are no moving parts. This thing's not going to fall apart. As long as you don't smush it or crush it, it's going to work just fine. The other benefit of this is that there's no pot stand required. Once this blooms and the flames are coming out of these side ports, you can put a pot right on top. It actually makes the alcohol last longer because it doesn't burn as quickly, and you can use this without a pot stand. That's why I carry this in my ultralight cook kit. The cons are it can take a little bit of time to prime. Now, depending on the different models, for some reason, this particular model and these particular dimensions, this thing primes super fast. Like, if it's warm outside, it'll prime within 10 seconds or less, more like five or six seconds. If it's cold outside, it takes maybe 15 seconds to prime. Still really, really good, but you do have to be careful. Certain designs take a lot longer to prime. The other thing is that it does need a windscreen if you're trying to minimize what you carry. Carrying something that doesn't need a windscreen is better. Most things, honestly, except for the wood stove, is going to need a windscreen. The efficiency of any kind of a gas stove, whether it be an alcohol stove or a propane stove, and definitely a solid fuel stove, those things are going to be greatly improved from the standpoint of efficiency with a windscreen. You're going to need one with this as well. Did I mention that it's free? I'm free! So like I said, guys, obviously there are a ton of options when it comes to different stoves. These are just four budget stoves that I own that I've used over time that I can definitely recommend from the four different categories. You've got gas stove, wood stove, alcohol stove, and solid fuel stoves. You have to look at the pros and cons of each and decide whether or not this is a good option for you. If you're looking at backpacking as a serious hobby, maybe you want to try something a little bit more expensive. There are more expensive wood stoves, for example, more compact, lighter weight definitely worth the money. I have videos on those as well. There's a very nice Expedition Research solid fuel stove that costs a little bit more, but is much more compact. Gas stoves, there are tons of gas stoves. A lot of people use this ultralight BRS titanium stove. I've gotten away from it a little bit because of the susceptibility to wind, but I still use it when I want to go super lightweight. The point of this video, like all my budget related videos, are to show you guys you don't have to spend a lot of money to get involved in backpacking or hiking or getting outdoors. Budgets are a reality of life. Some people can go out and spend $300 on a stove. Some people need to go to Walmart and buy a $5 stove. No matter what kind of stove you use, you don't want to use it as an excuse not to get out. Especially if you've got kids, you want to show them outside. Don't let a low budget stop you from doing things. These days, it really is amazing how you can get pretty lightweight gear for pretty reasonable prices. These things all also work pretty well as long as you pick and choose the right ones. There are some of these models that just don't work. Read the reviews. Make sure that other people have had good results with them. And I think you'll have good luck with these particular ones that I've shown y'all because I have personally used them for quite some time. I'm not sure if y'all know, but I have a playlist completely about stoves, stove testing, stove building. I will leave a link down below along with a link to all the different specific videos covering each of these stoves. It's kind of a rainy, gloomy day here in Arkansas. Enjoying my time here making videos, hiking, fishing. The word is fishing because I haven't caught anything. I haven't caught. I've just fished. Is that the right word? Yeah. I've just fished. I haven't even seen a fish. Like, not even a minnow in the stream. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go keep trying to fish and feel sorry for myself. As always, I really appreciate you guys checking things out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, do two things. Hit the subscription button so you'll be subscribed. And also, hit that little ding-dong bell so you'll be notified every single time that I make a new video. Guys, I really appreciate the input. I really appreciate the views. It means so much to me that you guys seem to enjoy the channel. That's pretty exciting. I'm going to go keep having some fun. As always, I appreciate you checking out the channel. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.